Okay, so we're doing first impressions of this bag that we got from Tide Locker. Thank you, Tide Locker. This is just first impressions. We're not going to um, do a review until um, I'm ready. I just wanted to film my first impressions. Wow, you got all this shizzle. Hello. Le booklet. Le. <laughs> Le. Paper. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm just, I'm mind blown. This is the CC rectangular mini flap rectangular mini flap has been on my wish list like oh but it's always been sold out at the chanel boutique guys this is unbelievable it smells like expensive leather okay Ooh. me like it me, li me really like it me like it me like it me like it me like it I believe it's only the single chain. Yeah, it's only the single chain. Oh, guys. The interior is a mint. Wow. I am impressed. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the video. So we did that initial unboxing first impressions of the Chanel bag and I was really really impressed so now I really want to go into detail with the bag um here it is in all its glory the dust bag feels so soft and I feel like it's like not a sh crappy <laughs> dust bag um there's the bag isn't it beautiful look at that oh the caviar glistens in the light I don't know if it's it's not really transpiring on camera, but in person, it is like, it, it is reminiscent of my GST tote caviar leather. And what's nice about this bag, I actually went into detail. I counted the stitching. There's nine stitching on each of the, of the diamonds. So that's the correct amount of stitching. It smells so good too, guys. So plastic still wrapped on it there you go open that up that way stuff the paper to keep it shape look at the interior there Ooh, very very nice very nice okay so the chain is here wrapped There's the inside. There's that. The zipper pull is marked. And then you have the current uh, serial number. And then you have that smaller one there. And even this one here. There's a plastic on here to take that off. And you have one zip compartment inside, which is fairly roomy. And the pocket holds the, that stuff. It's a very well-made bag, guys. Like, very, very well-made. Um, they've sent me variations of the flap. I think, like, two? This would be my third flap from them, and I am always happy and satisfied with the flap now um the only thing about this is that this is the rectangular mini so it is not an adjustable chain which could be problematic for shorter people um but for me it is not long enough to be a crossbody uh, i think you have to be fairly uh like not as big of a frame as me <laughs> but the chain is half it has some weight to it. It's not too heavy, not too light, which is correct. And then the back pocket. Did I show you guys that? There you go. I like it. I actually, this is my this is my preference when it comes to the flaps from this brand. 
But I think if you are like shorter, maybe like five, six and under, and you have a slender frame, that this would work perfectly for you crossbody. Like if I were to wear a crossbody, it would fall like right there, like right there. So, oh, but I like the way it looks. Look at that, hello. Classy, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I really, I'm, I don't know. It's very controversial, a lot of this stuff. Like, it, it's hard to even do a YouTube video on it. The thing is, a lot of people think that when you're buying, like, high quality, $4,000, $5,000, $10,000 bags, that it's going to be perfection. But it's not. Like, this is the same chain that my Chanel flap had. And I'm trying to think. Oh, right here. Like this part right here is glued on and it was glued on on my flap and then the glue started to come undone and it started to separate. So it kind of like, like, kind of like hung down. And that was on my freaking $3,300 bag. Well, this was 2012. So that's how much of a flap cost back then. Um, so like, don't expect perfection in bags. And that's kind of why like, I don't like to buy bags anymore from the boutique it's because you're spending way too much money for less quality but this one i am so like happy with so totally recommend i love it so much and you guys should get it if you like it why i'm bored ashley 